there naked in front of the mirror for hours like, well, what did you expect? Banged up blonde, sexy singles, and busty burnettes. I must not be as beautiful as that advertising says. Okay, excuse me, wait, excuse me, miss, I saw your poster recently. I read your ad in one of Playboy's latest magazines. Actually, I fed pretty much every need that I believe photography could feed me. But if you can believe me, I hate it. You're worth more than my brief moment of orgasm when I allow my mind to deceive me. And look, look, I'd like to be an open book. It's hard to admit that I took advantage of the desires God gave me, but I am not going to sugarcoat this. I feel hopeless, trapped in brokenness like I lost before I ever started racing. I know as well as anybody, this is a difficult topic to be facing, a difficult confession for me to be making, but I'm stating that when God started the molding, shaping, and creating. You? And you? And you? We're not designed to be the objects that men look at while masturbating. Baby, never forget that you were made for relating. I'm sick of failing at learning exactly what it is I'm saying. I apologize. It was never my intent to ruin lives, compromise, or feed these eyes something other than what was designed. But sometimes, though, I feed that indecency. It's got to slide that magazine across the counter and do it quietly. I'm going to shine my face away so the cashier can't see that it's me. Like, is that going to be all for you today, sir? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I'd like to pay to become the opposite of what I want to be. I should have waited, dedicated to see the experience God had planned for me in the beginning. I am not patient enough to not give in to every sin forbidden to the hearts of men. I'm not patient enough to not give in. But there I go again, you know, I just apologized like five minutes ago. <laughs> and that was... That was after repenting for last night, this morning. God, come on! What's going on? I'm sick of this. Somebody put some clothes on. You're better than this. God's most beautiful creation. And I'm sitting here, euphoric, like I have the right to destroy it just because I don't have enough dedication to build a relationship with the one that can free me. So I resort to suffocation of my very foundations while claiming that I'm striving to meet the expectations of purity. Jesus, keep reassuring me. I yearn for covenanted eyes like Job's that deter their glances, stares at the computer screen like the images dancing across my pupils are as lifeless as the LED, piercing the darkness that I grovel in in my living room, lifeless while my wife lays in my bed in the next room asleep. You are the only one that can redeem the years the locusts have stolen from me. The years that I've let them feed. Jesus, I know you love me and you're going to have to be my strength. Keep reassuring her, the one in the center fold. The picture I'll remember until I grow old. She is human. You are human. You are bought and sold to a million empty souls, feeling so hopeless that they'll do anything to fill that hole. I apologize. Please believe it's true. I never meant to hurt you. 